Okay, I created this video to actually show how to install the Unreal Setup script I created for Maya. What this script does is convert Maya to use the UDK and Unreal 3 engine's grid size. It increases your far clip plane, as well as rebinds some vital hotkeys to make it easier for you to create modular assets in Maya and export them to the UDK or the Unreal Engine. Um, first thing you're want going to want to do is go ahead and go to the temporary website I set up for people. Uh, it's polybend.com slash Unreal Setup. I will also have this link in the comment of the video. Uh, go ahead and click download now and it's going to go ahead and open up my script in the browser. If it does not, it's going to ask you to download the MEL file. You can download it anywhere you want and just go ahead and open it up in whatever text editor you have available. Highlight everything in the file and copy it. And then go ahead and open up your copy of Maya. And as soon as it loads up, uh, in the bottom right hand side of Maya, there's the script editor. You're going to want to open that up and go ahead and paste in my script. Now before you do anything else, go ahead and choose which shelf you want your new icon to be on. I usually use custom, but I have some friends who use polygon and whatever you want to do, just make sure you have it selected beforehand. Go ahead and highlight the script in the script editor and click and drag it to the shelf. And it's going to ask you what type of script it is and where, what do you want to save it to as a shelf. So go ahead and choose Mel. And there's your new icon. You can go ahead and close the script editor. And now whenever you have a, a new file open in Maya or even an old file you've been working on, if you click this button, it's instantly going to convert everything in the workspace to the Unreal setup. It creates a small little window that actually shows you the uh, division level, just like in the UDK or in Unreal. So this is actually currently 16 Unreal units. The left bracket key on the keyboard will now divide more. So now you're seeing eight units. Again, will be four units. You can go with the right bracket key and increase your scaling size. And these are the same hotkeys that are in the Unreal Editor. So many of you should probably already be familiar with them. Uh, the backslash key now will change, will toggle between local and world movement. That should help you when you're moving your assets. And finally, control left bracket and control right bracket are the ActorX hotkeys. If you actually have ActorX installed, it should instantly open it up for exporting. Other than that, the only thing that you should be aware of is that in the script itself, at the very bottom, it says right down here, I have some comments on if you want to change the hotkeys, there's instructions for it. And if you have any more questions, feel free to comment, or even if you have requests on what should be added to the script, go ahead and ask and I'll see what I can do. Have fun.